Okay, so this is our first day of adding fractions. And I'm going to do just a little bit down here before we get to the worksheet. But this is the homework for the first day of adding fractions. Today is Monday, and um, this is the first assignment for adding fractions. So let's just start out. If we add fractions, oops, let's start out with something easy first. We're going to start out with two pitchers. There's one pizza, and there's another pizza. And we're going to add those pieces together. Here we have one fourth, one out of four. Four is the denominator, and that tells me how many pieces there are. This is how many pieces, and this is how many we're going to eat, or how many we have. And we're going to add this fraction, so we have 2 out of 4. And we can add these because our denominator down here is the same. The number of pizzas in each pizza, pizza is the same. So we can just add these. We have one piece here, and we have uh, one piece and two pieces. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, the bottom is not 8. Don't put 8. It does not equal 8. We can't just add our bottom pieces together. What we have here is we have 1 plus 2. We have three pieces out of 4. So that is the basis of adding fractions. We have to have the same denominator. Now what does that look like? What does that look like if we take, no let me just see, I want to move this up again. What if we just take and do different denominators? What would that look like? So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do Two two fours, so this is two fours plus, and I will do three eighths. Now I'm picking real nice, easy numbers, but that's okay. This will give you the idea of why. Or what happens, oops, let's redo that. Okay, let's do that again. There we go. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Okay, now if we add this up, two plus three, and we get five, are they equal pieces? If we add them up, are we really getting five equal pieces, and we're not. This is adding apples and oranges. You can't add two different sizes and say they're all equal. At least if you are um, trying to share with your friends and you share like this and you keep the red pieces and give them the blue pieces, they're not going to be happy because you're not sharing equally. So let's make this equal. We're going to make this fraction the same as this one. And how we're going to do that is make the bottom the same denominator. We're going to come up with 8 as the, the bottom, as the denominator. Okay, so how does that look? It looks like this. All right, so now I have 8 pieces. So how did I get to 8? I took 4 times 2, that's 8. 2 times 2, that's 4. And if I count those, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4 pieces. Now I can add 4 ace plus 3 ace, and I can get an answer. That's 7 ace. Now, let's look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the red side. 5, 6, 7 over there. I have 7 pieces which matches my numbers. 
And what is it out of? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Seven pieces of eight. If I moved these pieces over to this pizza, you can see that it's true. We have seven pieces out of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why the bottom is eight. Okay, so that is the basis of adding fractions. The denominator needs to be the same. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing, and then you can start the worksheet. Okay, so I want to do this. Yeah, hand. All right, I'm going to move it up just a little bit more. All right, now let's do a fraction with different denominators, but I can't think of one, um, three, four. Okay, so let's do this one. All right, uh, can I get to 5 with 2? Uh, no, I can't. So let's do this. Let's times this by 5 and this by 2. And if I do it on the bottom, I have to do it on the top. Now they're both going to have the same denominator. 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10. They're going to have the same denominator. And then up above, 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, now this equals 23 tenths. And that's, that's okay, that's right, but it's an improper fraction. So let's make this a mixed number. 10 goes into 23 two times with 3 left over. 2 and 3 tenths. Let's double check. 2 times 10 is 20 plus 3 is 23, and that works. So there's my answer. Now if you get an answer that, well, let me move, oops, yeah, move it up again. If you get an answer when you're done, like 5, oops, that's weird. I want the mark, I want the pen. 5 tenths, you should reduce that. And divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get 1 half. Okay, so you should reduce when possible. All right, let's go way back to the top, way back to the top to the worksheet. And I will just do one for you because there is enough information on this to do the whole thing. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this. I'm going to get a really small, there we go. Okay, so one-half plus one-third. What could I, let's make this six. Times three, times three, times three, two times three. Oops, I'm sorry, two, two, two. Let me erase that. Okay, times two, times two. Okay, so two times three is six. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. So I did the same thing. So I times this by 3, this by 3, this by 2, this by 2 to get 6 as my common denominator. Now let's add those up. 3 plus 2 is 5, and the bottom number is 6. 5, 6. Now I'll go to the bottom and see if you can find 5, 6. There it is, right there at the bottom. We're going to write an S there because S is the letter for that. Now let's look and see if there's another 5, 6. No, there's not. All right, that's how you do the worksheet. If you don't see an answer down below, double check. I know these are kind of weird. My printer did not print them real nice, but hopefully you can figure this out. Like this should be 17, 20 but go ahead and do this as your homework.